Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Um, what I'm going to do now is record um, the lesson uh, regarding uh, diffusers, reflectors, and gobos so that uh, if you're unable to attend the class tomorrow, um, you'll see it here. No? And then you can just message me for questions. I'm going to share my computer screen now. My uh, computer screen now. And uh, so this is what we're seeing on the uh, this is what we're seeing on the camera. All right. So our layout is composed of a long table uh, with um, Bob in the picture. No. So he's our uh, model now. As you can see, I'm using available light. No. Like I told you, all we use for this plate is this window light. Uh, everything else is in the dark. Okay, so Rap is holding our, our tools. No, we'll be using different tools to show the different effects. Okay, and then later on, I'm going to zoom it in, all right, so that you can see what the effect is on a tighter uh, screen. Okay, so we start using this is plain undiffused window light, all right. So my exposure is just about right. I am at 1 25th of a second at f5. We can make it a little bit lighter by going down to 1 20th of a second or a little bit darker going to 1 30th of a second, depending on the mood that you want to set for the picture. But for now, we'll send it, we'll keep it at 1 1 25th of a second at 1600. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the window light is also lighting our background material, okay, which is just blue cartolina. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to use is the diffuser. Can you show them the diffuser? Right? Okay, so yan ang diffuser. It's basically just a translucent piece of cloth uh, stretched on a wire uh, frame so that it's a circle. No, this is translucent, so light will pass through it. So what we're going to do now is diffuse the wind, the wind, the light coming from the window. Okay, so get up. Yeah, all right. So if we put the diffuser here, you will immediately notice that the light on our model is much softer. Okay, but it gets a little bit darker, so we have to once again adjust our exposure. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in now so that you can see it. Okay, so yan yung itsura. Pakitanggal ulit yung diffuser. There. So as you can see, it's harder light without the diffuser. Once you put the diffuser in, it becomes much softer. Okay? So the diffuser is for use when your lighting is too harsh or if you want to soften the light coming from your light source. All right? Now, we're going to use the reflector. So for our reflector, tanggalin mo na yung diffuser. For our reflector, we will just use a white card. Okay, so it's just a white piece of cardboard, nothing else. Sige, pagilagay mo na. Okay, so our reflector reflects the light coming back, coming out of the window, so that it becomes much softer. Okay, and it bounces the light back onto our subject. Okay, so what we can do is we can change the position of the reflector in order to get the kind of light that we want to get. Okay? So there's not just one position for this. Maraming possibilities, no? We can move it further. We can move it closer. We can move it to the back. We can move it to the front. All right? The third piece of equipment that we're going to use, also very basic, is the gobo. Okay? So right now, what we're going to do is use a gobo. Gobo is short for go between. So anything that blocks the light from our subject or from our background. Okay? So if we, for instance, wanted to lighten the light falling on our subject, uh, darken the light falling on our subject so that our background becomes lighter, all we have to do is block the light falling on the subject like this, right? Okay. Okay. So we're now blocking the light falling on the subject. Of course, we have to adjust our exposure. So I'm going to bring this back up to one eighth of a second, one sixteenth of a second. And so now you can see 
that our background is much brighter than our foreground. Okay? So this is useful <coughs> if you have a background, for example, that's white and you want it plain white, we can just block the light falling on the subject so that our background becomes brighter. Or we can use the gobo to block the light falling on the background. Dun. Then, then. Yan. Black mo lang. Yan. Okay? So. Yan. Again, adjust our exposure. And now you can see that our background is almost black. Okay? So this is just an approximation. There we go. All right. Okay. Now, there are different kinds of gobos. No? So we're using this black sheet to show a basic demonstration. We can cover our subject. We can cover the background. But what if we want to generate something a little more interesting? No? So we can use the gobo in direct sunlight to generate shadows. Balea. Okay, so we're going to show you how uh, using a gobo of different uh, shapes works. You're not allowed to use um, artificial light for this part of the plate, so you need to work with it under direct sunlight. But for the sake of our demonstration, since we don't have direct sunlight coming into this room, we're going to use artificial light. Okay, so I'm going to go back to sharing my uh, camera screen. Okay. And I'm going to zoom out again so you can see the setup. Okay, so our light source is a light coming from the right side. Okay. Okay. So just imagine that that is, uh, is available light, no direct sunlight coming in through the window. So what is another kind of gobo? Uh, in this case, we're going to use some fern leaves to generate shadows on our subject. Okay. So for example, we can place this here. The closer our gobo is to the background, the stronger the shadow, the further, the weaker the shadow. Okay, so I'm going to zoom it in so that you see the effect. Okay, so there. That is the use. That's another use of a gobo. So we, we can use a gobo to generate shadows. We can use a gobo to block light hitting our subject or our background, or we can use a gobo to generate interesting background patterns or even shadows on our subject. All right. So can we combine these things, a reflector, uh, a diffuser, and a gobo? Yes, definitely. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you now. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see the setup. Okay, I'm going to get the diffuser now. Send your reflector natin. Okay. We're going to place the reflector to reflect light back onto our subject. All right. We're going to use a diffuser to, the diffu to diffuse the light coming in. And we're going to use a gobo to create an interesting shadow background, uh, shadow pattern on the background. Okay, and if I zoom in, you can see the effect, right? Now, since we're using artificial light, we constantly have to adjust our exposure in order to fit the lighting that's hitting the, as you can see, the light darkened a little bit outside. So we needed to adjust the exposure. Okay, so that's it. Your plate will be a demonstration of all three of these effects, no? one at a time. So what I'll require you to do is um, show three examples using a tabletop uh, and available light coming through a window. All right, so you're going to show diffuser, 
reflector, and gobo, or any combination uh, you want to try. Now, if you don't have a diffuser at home, you can always cut a frame using cardboard and use tracing paper, or you can buy uh, one of these portable uh, reflector, reflector kits that you can get on Shopee. They'll be useful definitely for the next sem. That's it for now. Um, I'll share this with you after the class tomorrow. Thank you.